Okay, I just uh, powered it down, unplugged the computer. Let me take off the battery back here. It's got one of these extended batteries, but I don't think it's any good anymore. I probably should have checked it earlier, but it doesn't matter. I can check it later. And it's beaten up. As you can see, the Dell logo is all scratched up there. But it's been a good computer for me, so I think I'm just going to keep it. So the first thing you need to do is take a flat precision, flathead precision screwdriver. Like I said, I've used this 16-piece precision screwdriver kit here many, many times for many uses, from sunglasses to computers to you know even bicycle fittings. Um, all right, so. There is, uh, I'll take a Phillips screwdriver here. There are three, three bolts there, or three screws, one, two, three, that you take off. So here's one right here. Set that aside. I have just a clean sheet of uh, napkins so, it, so I can see where the screws go. Uh, Sometimes these things can be hard to hard to see. Let's see here. Let's see where I, I'm putting the screws. Uh, it'd be hard to see if they kind of roll around on you. I uh, should have used the magnet, but that's okay. Don't have to. No need to do that. All right. So once you take the screws off, then the keyboard just pops up like this. See? And you don't have to take the keyboard all the way out. I have to take the keyboard all the way out. And then here's the memory stick. And if I compare it to this RAM memory stick here, which I'm gonna not gonna touch the edges here. It looks like it's the right size, so I think we're okay here. Let me uh take this out and to take this out, you just have to take your thumbs and push to the side these silver silver tabs you saw up there I don't know if you saw that it's these silver tabs right here I'm gonna go like that so it does say there that use only DDR2 on this computer when you replace the RAM so that's what we'll do we will take this and it was so when I took it out you'll see this edge over here that notch uh, was on the right side so that's what I will do here I'll put the edge on the right side and just push it, push it down until it clicks and it's as simple as that folks don't have to pay a technician to do this and just reinstall these screws then we'll fire it up again and we'll check via setup on this Dell XPS M1210 which I said earlier I acquired this back uh, I think it was 2003. I acquired it with a with a projector, but fortunately that got stolen a while back, which is a, another story. Just this thing just pops back on, and it's done. Let me fire it up. Install the battery first, of course. So, oops. power cord. saying that the memory isn't seated properly so it looks like I need to 
reseat the memory again. So that's a that's that's a good thing. Let me do that. <laughs> 